So what is going on everyone? My name is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy and in today's video we're going to be talking about my week number 12 trade targets for fantasy football in 2021. Inside today's video I'll be going in depth into five different players that I believe you guys should be looking to trade for right now prior to your league's trade deadline. But before we could get on into things I would like to ask if you are new to the channel and you do end up enjoying today's video to please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and while you're down there whether you are new to the channel or not please make sure to leave a like on today's video it helps boost the video up the algorithm so that more beautiful people like yourself can see today's video i'd also like to ask if you guys are on twitter and would like to follow me on there to please do so at notorious fntsy so without further ado let's get into my week number 12 trade targets we begin with deandre hopkins wide receiver of the arizona cardinals deandre hopkins has missed three consecutive games with a hamstring injury the team is on by this week and it seems very likely that deandre hopkins should end up returning relatively soon whether it is after this week's bye or the week after that I do think that we should see DeAndre Hopkins returning to the field very very soon during his time off Kyler Murray has also been out in those same three games with an ankle injury when healthy we all know just how good DeAndre Hopkins could be and it would not surprise me at all if at the end of the season from those final stretch of games that DeAndre Hopkins is able to play at the end of the season if he is a top five wide receiver during that stretch of games what I don't mean is that he's going to finish on the season as a top five wide receiver because it's very hard to do that when you miss multiple games on the season but from the stretch of games where he ends up returning maybe from week 13 on or week 14 on he has the potential to be a top five wide receiver during those stretch of games and the best time to be trading for a player is when they are either hurt or when they're on bye. And guess what? DeAndre Hopkins is basically a two-for-one fucking special because he's hurt right now, and he's also on bye. And some people who have DeAndre Hopkins on their team may start to get a little bit nervous. They've already missed three games of DeAndre Hopkins. They're already starting to get a little bit flourished because, hey, maybe DeAndre Hopkins won't be back, blah, 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 and they're going to be talking themselves off of DeAndre Hopkins. So go ahead and slide in now and get DeAndre Hopkins on the cheap right now. Next player to be talking about to trade for on the week is Dawson Knox, tight end of the Buffalo Bills. Dawson Knox started off the season on fire as a top end tight end to begin the season, which was very shocking as for his previous two years of his NFL career, he was virtually irrelevant in terms of fantasy football, but he did start to catch fire at the beginning of the season. He returned after his stay on the IR in week number 10 up against the Jumbo Jets, having just one reception on one target for 17 yards. Last week, he goes up against the Indianapolis Colts and has six receptions on 10 targets for 80 yards. It is very clear to me that Dawson Knox is in an amazing, he is in a great scenario to succeed in Buffalo. While the team got their back blown out by the Indianapolis Colts last week, we should expect the Buffalo Bills to still be one of the top teams in the NFL. I think a lot of people overreact to what they see the week before. That, oh, now the Buffalo Bills are fucking washed. The franchise is done. The Patriots now run the AFC. AFC East. It's still entirely possible that the Bills run the AFC East. It's entirely possible that this was just a slip-up game and the Buffalo Bills continue to be one of the best teams in the NFL going forward. Finding a tight end that is reliable week in and week out in fantasy football is damn near fucking impossible. It's so hard to look on the waiver wire and find a guy that has top five potential. It's so hard to draft a guy, unless you're drafting like Darren Waller, George Kittle, or Travis Kelsey, that you know for sure is going to be a top five tight end in fantasy football. So going ahead and trading for one right now to make that playoff push down the stretch of the season is just so important. So go ahead and trade for Dawson Knox right now. Next player to discuss is Michael Pittman Jr., wide receiver of the Indianapolis Colts. Michael Pittman Jr. has been on a down word spiral over the last two games. Last week up against the Buffalo Bills, he saw just two receptions on five targets for 23 yards. Over the last few games, we have really seen the takeover of Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor looking like one of the best running backs in all of fantasy football, looking like the best running back in the NFL. And with his takeover came them throwing the ball less because all they have to do is hand the rock off to Jonathan Taylor and the guy's going to run for a zillion yards every single game. But it seems improbable, in my opinion, that 
they will be able to just coast to these wins by handing the ball off to Jonathan Taylor for a lot of these games going forward. In the next four games, they play up against the Bucks. That's a very tough matchup. Then they face the Texans. Might be a soft serve matchup, but after that, the Patriots and the Cardinals. In those games, besides the Texans, I highly doubt that they're going to be able to hand the ball off to Jonathan Taylor as much as they were able to in the last couple of games, thus making them have to throw the ball, because when you don't run the ball, you got to throw the ball, and Michael Pittman is the clear number one wide receiver option on the Indianapolis Colts right now. His price is is so low because people are starting to panic because everyone is so excited about how great Jonathan Taylor looks that they are forgetting how good how good Michael Pittman was at stretches of the season. So go ahead and trade for Michael Pittman Jr. right now. But before we get on into the next two final trade targets of the week, I would like to let you guys know that we have partnered with Yahoo Fantasy this NFL season to bring you guys some great offers. Check out our exclusive limited time offer, which gets you guys one free month of Osmo Plus Platinum. To qualify, you need to be new to Yahoo, sign up for an account via the link down below deposit and play that is it yahoo will send us your name after you play in your first paid contest and we'll reach out to you via email with your coupon if you would like immediate access that's okay as well all you got to do is email support at awesome.com again support at awesome.com and we will get you set up right away you can also claim a free $15 of site credit when you deposit using promo code yahoo thanksgiving to enter any yahoo contest including the one million dollar Everyone wins Thanksgiving Baller, which is the most user-friendly DFS contest you will ever find with a management fee of minus 900%. There is absolutely no reason for you not to enter the contest. It's only $1 for a chance to win $100 thousand dollars and you automatically make at least one dollar of profit even if you come in last that's right yahoo is paying you at least one dollar for chance to win a hundred thousand dollars it's a no-brainer this thanksgiving make sure you guys are playing on yahoo just make sure to use our dfs tools and projections designed specifically for yahoo to give you guys the best shot at winning big again please make sure you check out yahoo fantasy link down below in the description next player to discuss as a trade target is david montgomery running back of the shy town bears Montgomery returned from an injury two games ago up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Last week up against the Ravens, he had 14 rushes for 58 yards, as well as one reception on one target for nine yards. Even if your league doesn't have a trade deadline, the buy low window on David Montgomery is going to slam shut. It is going to close instantly after he faces the Lions this week on Thanksgiving. Whether the quarterback is Andy Dalton or Justin Fields, it doesn't really have much effect, in my opinion, on David Montgomery, at least this week up against the Lions. Last year, we saw basically the exact same scenario happen with David Montgomery, where he wasn't amazing at the beginning of the season, but at the end of the season, he flipped a fucking switch and was amazing down the stretch of the season. I love David Montgomery right now at the price you can pay for him, so go ahead and pick him up on the cheap. Final player to discuss as a trade target in today's video is Dakota Prescott, Mr. Dickie Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Prescott is coming off of a piss-poor performance last week up against the Kansas City Chiefs. Everyone expected this to be a back-and-forth, very high-scoring game between two great offenses in the Kansas City Chiefs and the Dallas Cowboys. And instead, the game probably puts you to sleep. Prescott had 28 completions on 43 attempts for 216 yards and two interceptions. This is not the first time that we have seen the Dallas Cowboys falter this season. We saw something similar up against the Broncos, but instead in garbage time, that time, Dak Prescott was able to kind of crawl his way back into the game, but there was really no garbage time in that game because the whole game was so shit, and it was always kind of close between the Cowboys and the Chiefs, but I do believe that you shouldn't be nervous at all because Amari Cooper was not in the game, and CeeDee Lamb was knocked out of the game with a concussion. So going forward, it should be very easy to paint the picture Bob Ross style of a way that Dak Prescott returns to normalcy and has a great rest of the season so make sure you guys go ahead and trade for Dak Prescott after his shitty performance last week up against the Kansas City Chiefs so thank you guys all so much for watching today's video if you did end up enjoying please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as hitting that like button if you would like you can follow me on Twitter at Notorious FNTSY and please make sure you guys check out that Yahoo promotion you literally can't lose, so there's no reason not to check it out. So please make sure you guys check that out. Link down below in the description. I love you guys all. I hope you have a great rest of your guys' day. Happy almost Thanksgiving. Love you guys. Goodbye.